Warning, Kazakhstan is RNG based. It depends on how good the Russia and China players are and if they decide to invade you or not. Kazakhstan is a country located in Central Asia. Its geography puts it in between two giant titans that really want to annex you. This is why you should try to be friendly with at least one of them. Kazakhstan also has a lot of resources. I recommend saying that you will accept trades so that you will get more money and that you will look friendly. I recommend trying to find allies a lot more than usually. The next country that I will do as a guide will be the most liked comment on this YouTube video. So go ahead, leave suggestions and like others. As always, build two electronic factories. And get a steel and motor factory. In research, get Factory Output 2 and in Policies, Public Service Act. Since you already have a lot of resources, you won't need to buy anything. Later, also build an aircraft manufactory, as you have enough titanium and every other resource to do so. Modify some cities and your capital as well, then produce tanks as fast as possible. If China declares on you, you will most likely lose, but if Russia declares on you, you have a chance. More on that later. In my game, neither Russia or China declared, so I just went on and started conquering Central Asia. If you form Central Asian Union, you get access to a lot of resources. Forming it will also make you a lot more powerful and you will be eventually able to take over Russia. Now, since Kazakhstan has a lot of resources, it makes sense to go for communism. Which is what I did. With communism, the best strategy is to spam factories, especially consumer goods factories. And since you have so many resources, you can do that very easily. Just make sure to build mines on cities that produce a lot of tungsten, titanium, gold, and other stuff that you need. Also, once you turn communist, you should also turn on the Forced Labor Act in policies, as it gives really good buffs. Once you're ready to declare war on Russia, I would recommend getting some friends to invade with you. Like, for example, a European nation or something like that. In my game, I made friends with Ukraine, no politics involved, who distracted Russia a lot, but almost died. In the end, China also declared on Russia, but it's already basically over.
After that, I decided to continue building more factories and improving my economy. In the end, I managed to get a strong economy. Once you get a strong economy and rid of Russia, then you're basically ready to conquer whatever you feel like. But what if Russia declared on you early? One thing you can try to do is to ally China by promising them resources in the future. They most likely won't accept this, in which case you need to entrench in forwards and let the Russians in, like always. If the Russia player is good, you most likely don't stand any chance. Russia will probably still be able to just take your capital, that, but that is why you should always be building up in the south of your country instead of trying to protect your capital, as that area is the only area where you can build tanks as Kazakhstan. If Russia loses all of their men and quits, I recommend just white piecing as invading Russia would take far too long and you can always come back later. Just conquer Central Asia, then continue the guide from where I conquered Central Asia before. If China decides to invade you, then it's basically game over. The problem is China usually invades Kazakhstan because they know how OP its resources are and they want them from themselves. Most Chinas that invade Kazakhstan are good players, so you'll most likely lose. You can, though, try allying with India or Japan, but there is little hope. Alright, uh, that was all for this video, I hope that you enjoyed, um, if you liked it give it a like, uh, subscribe if you haven't already and yeah, the next country that I will do a guide on will be decided by the most liked comment in the comment section. So if you have any like suggestions, like comment it down and if you like any other suggestions just like them. And yeah, we'll see uh, which country has the most likes in the end. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.